It's week 76. We're continuing our new topic about the Chumkill form and the concepts of Chumkill. And we left off last time describing how Chumkill is designed to help us find a moving target. And one of the things we do in Chumkill which helps establish that concept is that we don't hit always down the middle. We actually hit across the body. If you take the opening movements of the form early in the first section, after we open up the chum kill fuks our hands and bring the hands back for this jitsu movement, the next thing we do is absolutely relevant to what we're talking about, which is I could, and some people in Wing Chun do, strike straight down the middle. But if we go straight down the middle, then it's no different to Sin Yun Tao form. Because in Sin Yun Tao, everything goes straight down the middle. That's still a stationary target. So instead, we use the elbow as the sighting device. Instead of using the chest and turning the body to face the target, we use the elbow to anticipate where the target will be. So from the elbow, I will go across my body. So my right arm will end up in front of my left shoulder. Then my left arm will go from the right elbow across the body and strike in front of the right shoulder. And then the third one is done before we progress into the yi bong, the shifting bong sao section. Now this is a very significant idea because a human of normal dimensions, we're not talking about someone who's 10 foot tall or three inches tall, anybody of average height to more or less slightly more than average height, if they want to move to the left or the right, there's only a certain distance they can move, particularly if you're trying to be aggressive and attack someone. If my enemy's here, there's not much point in me moving all the way to here. I haven't gained anything. But if I move just a little bit to my right or a little bit to my left, I'm within the range to attack. So if Jung comes out to help me. If Jung's standing in front of me, he's coming to the center. If he wants to move to the right hand, to his left hand side, my right hand side, if I follow Sinintal theory, I would first have to turn and then launch my attack. Problem with that is, for every step he takes, if I only answer with a single step and no response to his movement, he can take a second step before I'm ready to hit him. So if he goes there and I go to hit him, it's too late, especially if he takes a second step. So he moves, I turn, I go to hit him, so you move again. So he moves, I move, I go to hit him, he moves again. I'm behind his timing. But if I take the concept that Tum Kyu is teaching us, moving from the elbow, the distance that he can go to either side is going to match up quite nicely to that angle. So if he moves that way, if I fire across the elbow line, I can hit him. If he moves the other way, my fist is almost getting there at exactly the same time he is. If he moves again, I can't miss. I can do that with my eyes closed because all I've got to do is follow that line. So I'm learning to anticipate how far he can move to either side. So when we shape up, if he runs over there, easy to find him. If he goes over there, easy to find him. All that is contained in this simple set of movements. Leave it at that and we'll talk about more concepts from Chomkil next time.